Happy New Year and welcome to another episode of Slider Cuts Shaping Up Culture, episode six. And today's episode is all about goals. It is the new year, guys. And as most of us do, we set New Year's resolutions, which essentially is New Year goals. And that goes from everything from, I'm going to eat better this year. I'm going to go to the gym. I want to lose weight. I want to work harder. I want to work less. See my children more. See my loved ones more. Spend more time doing the things I enjoy. Pick up a hobby. Learn to play an instrument. And so on. In the barbershop, I often speak to people. And when I ask them, you know, what they want out of life, what they're trying to do, and all these type of different questions, a lot of them respond by saying things like, I'm just trying to get money. I want to be financially free. I'm stacking my papers. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but I think that's a goal short of an actual goal. Because you should never really be chasing money which is just immediate to your actual goals. What you actually should be saying more so is, oh, I want to buy a house or land or I am trying to open up this company and so on and so on. And then money will just be immediate to that actual goal. But saying that you're chasing money or money is your goal is the same thing as saying to someone who wants to build a bunch of properties, asking them, what is your goal in life? And they say, yeah, I want to get loads of bricks and cement. It's a goal short of a goal. The bricks and cement is just part of the process to get to your actual goal. And money is exactly the same thing. Money is just part of the process to get to your actual goal. So I think people need to actually start thinking about what are your actual goals? What do you actually want to do? Do you want to travel more? Do you want clothing? Do you want a bunch of toothbrushes? Whatever it is but figure out what your actual goals are because too many people are just saying, I just want to get money. So what I want guys to more so start thinking is what are those actual things you want out of life? The first step is simply to figure out what are those things you want to do and simply just write it down. What are the things you're trying to get out of life? Like don't watch what other people are doing, just figure out what you want to do. And there's so much different goals in this world, guys. There's big goals, small goals, there's short-term goals, there's long-term goals. A short-term goal might just be, I want to eat tomorrow, or I want to get up and go to the gym tomorrow. A long-term goal might be, I want to lose 10 stones and be ripped up and whatever. Do not measure your goals up against someone else. Figure out what you want to do, write them down, and then start striving to achieve those things. A few years ago, I ran the half marathon. I was 30 then, I'm 33 now. Yeah, a few years ago, I ran the half marathon. I went and joined a running club called Run Them Crew. I spoke to the owner, Charlie Duck, and he said to me, what do you want? What are your goals? What are you here for? What do you want out of running with Run Them Crew? And I said, you know what? I'm running the half marathon and I want to, one, complete the half marathon, but I also want to do it in sub two hours. He said, great, we can help you do that. But then he said to me, what I want you to do is go home, get a piece of paper, and write down the reason as to why you are running. He said to me that everybody is running for a reason and you need to figure out what that reason is and write that down and come back next week. Came back, I, wrote, I wrote it down, came back next week and he said to me, I don't want to see it. He goes, but you need to understand that everybody is running for a reason. You need to know the reason as to why because when things get hard and when you hit the wall, which you will do, knowing the reason as to why you're running will be the thing that keeps you going. And he was correct. There were times when I was running and I hit the wall and remembering the reason as to why I was running was the thing that kept me going. And this is what made me think about this whole thing about goals. Your goal is the destination that you're trying to get to. You are the vehicle and the reason as to why you're doing what you're doing is the fuel. These things all work together. Your goal, the vehicle and the fuel. Your goals are the destinations. The vehicle is you and the reason as to why you're doing what you're doing or why you want what you want to do is the fuel. Any goal that you set for yourself, guys, just remember to write down the reason as to why you want that goal. A few days ago, when I was thinking about this subject, I was talking with my PA and I was just telling her, yeah, I'm gonna do a vlog about goals. And you know, it's the new year, everybody's setting goals for themselves and all of these things there. And she said to me, and I told her about all these things I was gonna like talk about. I hadn't structured it in any way. I just said, I'm gonna talk about this topic, that and this. And she said to me, what about those who don't know what their goals are, don't have any idea of what you know, their goals should be or anything like that. She said, what about like those people there? What do they do if they don't even know what they want out of life? Or... And I responded to her and I said, first of all, everybody wants something out of life. The issue is when people, a lot of people say that they don't know what they want out of life, it's because they're looking at what other people are doing. 
and saying that I should be maybe doing something more like them. But everybody wants something out of life. You don't have to be doing what your neighbor's doing. You don't have to want to be rich or want to own this big company or own massive land or anything like that. Your goals are your goals. You might just want to look after your children. You might just want to help people. There are people out there who dedicate their whole lives not to make any money, but just to give their time up to help other people. There are just so much things in this world like which you can do. And there's so much things which we all want to do. So the thing is to sit down with yourself and figure out what are the things I enjoy doing or what do I actually just want out of life. Don't look at career paths and things like that. Don't worry about anything like that at all. Just think about almost like what is the subject of my life? What do I want the subject of my life to be? Now in this episode, I haven't spoken about the journey, but in another episode, I'll be dedicating a whole episode to talking about the journey to your goals. So remember that guys, three things, the destination, which is your goal, the journey to your goal, and the purpose behind your goal. If you've liked this video guys, please do me a favor, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if there's any subject matters you'd like me to talk about, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to get around to it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Slider Cuts Shaping Up Culture. See you next week. Peace.